The first Quander family reunion was held on August the 15th, 1926. They kept a record book. And the record book talked about succotash. It talked about potatoes, cakes and pies, plenty of iced tea. <laughs> it's always a very loving, very happy occasion. There are a lot of hugs, a lot of talk about new babies, who has gotten married, and sadly, who has passed away. This one would have been the 95th reunion, but because of COVID-19, the family decided to not have a face-to-face -face this year. I went to like a family reunion when I was really little, but I think it was a little bit later that I realized how precious it is to be a part of a family like this. The Quander family is a very old and extended family. When George Washington died, he provided in his will for the freedom of his enslaved people. And one of those people was Nancy Carter, and she married Charles Quander. So this is how it gets started. Um, your great-grandmother, Gladys Quander Tansel, was one of those griots who was a, a keeper of the story. Her interest was sparked as a child because she went to her first reunion in 1930. Your great-grandmother and my father went to college together. And she always has such interesting things to talk about. So if you could pass one thing on to me, what would it be? Well, the one thing that I would pass on to you is that you are the keeper of the stories. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I have to tell you, the lack of sustained interest mm -hmm. has bothered me. I'll be 77 in December. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm definitely going to put an emphasis on this for like my kids. And as we've seen this year, you never know when your last one could be. And I think it's important yeah. to capture those opportunities while you still have them in your grasp. And I'm going to do what I can on my end to keep the spirit of the family alive.